If you are new to this channel and enjoy the content that you see, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to be alerted and notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel, along with following me on these social media platforms to stay connected with me at all times. Also, feel free to check out all of your favorite videos and playlists located down in the description box below. Thank you so much for your continued support. Now let's begin. After having to follow the events of Jeepers Creepers 3, fans of the Jeepers Creepers franchise are begging the question as to what exactly is going to be the fate of Jeepers Creepers as we progress through in the near future, as on this video we are going to be discussing the fate of Jeepers Creepers 4 and potentially having to reboot the franchise in the foreseeable future. Now, is it possible for the rights to be sold by Victor Salva to a different company in order to one day potentially reboot the franchise that is of Jeepers Creepers? Absolutely. But before we can go into any sort of remake or reboot of the series, I think that what needs to happen in order to close off the chapters of the previous films is to ultimately end the series off by having Jeepers Creepers 4 be the be all end all story of Trish Jenner having to follow all the way through and encountering and once again having one final showdown with the Creeper. Now if you take a look back as to what has been established through Jeepers Creepers 1, Jeepers Creepers 2, and Jeepers Creepers 3, we have a fundamental story. There is an entity of being out there in which many people don't know of seeking out victims every 20 23 spring in order to replenish its body parts and continue his feast. Now for that, we've understood that the Creeper does have a weakness in Jeepers Creepers 3. What exactly that weakness is, is yet to be revealed, but I do think that not only the weakness essence, but also what the Creeper is as a whole, ought to be revealed and basically have a conclusion to its story in Jeepers Creepers 4. Now is it possible for Jeepers Creepers 4 to actually be a thing? Absolutely. They left the series open with the end of Jeepers Creepers 3, with Trish Jenner basically having to reveal a message to whoever is listening and gathering together and stopping this thing. And I do believe that Jeepers Creepers 4 ought to be the be all end all conclusion before we jump into anything else. Now the reason for the idea of remaking or rebooting this franchise is because of the owner behind the film. Victor Salva has a terrible reputation in being not only a sex offender but a child molester and pedophile as well. And that in and of itself can cause Hollywood to basically halt production to stop Victor from promoting the film even further in allowing the franchise to grow in replenishing its budget but also grossing in lots of money as a whole. Now that's a detriment to the franchise because the Jeepers Creepers story as a whole has a very unique concept that we haven't seen in horror before. We've seen the Freddy Kruegers, we've seen the Jason Voorheeses, we've seen the Michael Myers, but we've never seen an entity quite like the Creeper before. And that's what makes the Creeper so interesting and fascinating as a being is the fact that this creeper creature seems to be immortal even though from what we've learned in Jeepers Creepers 3 it does hold a weakness to our knowledge now this thing seems to be completely indestructible and it also rides around in a seemingly unstoppable vehicle as well and that's very unique as a concept but I think that for them to execute the story better in giving us a better production in giving us more value and more quality for the product what needs to ultimately happen is down the line in the long run Victor Salva after making Jeepers Creepers 4 needs to relinquish the product, relinquishing the title to a different company and or different owners in order for them to remake the story in their own vision and giving us a better product. Now early on we can all agree universally that Jeepers Creepers 1 was the best movie within the franchise. If anything, Jeepers Creepers 2 does come in for a close second, but Jeepers Creepers 3 was absolutely atrocious in its value, in its marketing, in the way they executed the movie via storytelling and the actors and actresses involved the movie just didn't deliver, and it caused a lot of fans to basically backlash towards the film in rejecting the notion of Jeepers Creepers 3 even being canon to begin with, because by the end of it, nothing new was established, other than the Creeper having to hunt down its victims and one measly weakness having to be exposed without the weakness actually having to be exposed. Now when looking at Jeepers Creepers 4, there needs to be one last encounter between Trish and the Creeper, why? Because the Creeper took her brother in the first movie, so now she's after revenge. Clearly after revenge, after having to witness and looking at what happened towards the end of Jeepers Creepers 3. Now I do believe that the Creeper, either depending on your subjective bias, should be killed off if Jeepers Creepers 4 becomes the last movie within the Victor Salva franchise. If of course they decide to continue and having the film be developed by a different producer and company, then they could ultimately end up making the Creeper be either immortal or some kind of invincible, which I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below as to how you guys would write 
showed off Jeepers Creepers 4. Would you guys rather have a Jeepers Creepers 5 way down the line, or would you rather have Jeepers Creepers 4 be the be-all end-all story? And for me, I think that the product itself is suffering by having Victor's name behind the franchise. Because by having your name synonymous with pedophilia, it's not going to allow your movie and or your actors and actresses to prosper. And that's a huge detriment if you ask me, because with all the time and effort being put into this film, we can all agree universally that the films could be done much better, on a much higher budget by a much better company. You could still perhaps maybe keep the same actors and actresses, but go in a different direction when it comes to production and its writing. So with that being said, to see the franchise prosper in the long run, what they ought to do is very similar to the franchise that is of Resident Evil, is have everything conclude with one final film and then reboot the entire thing. Now of course, I want to know down below, which company would you rather see reboot this franchise or remake this franchise if that's going to be your vision and ideals of seeing this franchise prosper. Now the essence of horror does tie in with Jeepers Creepers 1 as we had a glimpse of this very ominous figure dumping bodies down this little drain which ultimately led to this cathedral and seeing this thing drive a truck around it was very ominous in nature because you didn't really know what this thing was and then finally having to see this thing on the move after having to get run over, shot at, gunned down by the police, we see this thing just begin feasting on people and that left a sour taste in so many people's mouths for all the right reasons because here we had a creature that was different than Jason, Freddy, Michael, Pinhead, Chucky because it established its own fundamentals of being its own iconic character within the horror franchise and they need to keep that the same because let's be honest, nowadays in horror or Hollywood in general, originality is basically dead or at least there's very little of it. And for those that want to complain in saying that Jeepers Creepers 4 isn't a possibility, then you must have not seen the ending of Jeepers Creepers 3 when it was basically foreshadowed in Trish having to now pursue the Creeper. Now, original concepts and stories and scripts behind what was supposed to be Jeepers Creepers 3 can ultimately be adapted into Jeepers Creepers 4. I personally don't want to see a Jeepers Creepers 5. Why? Because seeing how bad 3 was, we can only have hopes in 4 correcting those mistakes. Mistakes, but if it ends up being worse than Jeepers Creepers 3, then there's no reason to continue in making a part 5. Even though part 4 would essentially make money, the franchise at that point would already be dead. Now, in terms of the Creeper, it's very subjective to basically share an opinion as to whether or not you want to see the Creeper die or live on. For me, personally, if they're going to tell this story and Trish Jenner being the star and having her revenge on the Creeper, then have her kill the Creeper off. Have her learn about what the Creeper's weakness is, if it's nothing minor of course, and have her execute on that and finally being the one to avenge her brother and killing the creeper off in the namesake of all the people that the creeper had killed off for essentially hundreds perhaps even thousands of years. And we want to know more of what the creeper is in terms of its origin without revealing too much. Without revealing or exposing too much of what makes the creeper so unique, I think that what they ought to do is reveal where he came from, what makes his biology so unique unique and then ultimately executing on that weakness by having him die off in the film. Now for me, I would love to see a rebooted version by Hollywood as to what would be if Jeepers Creepers 1 started all over. You could still keep that same concept of the cathedral, the police station, and everything in between, the brother and sister aspect, but allow the movie to feel as dark as it once was when the first movie was originally released. And I do think that the franchise in and of itself does have hope if done correctly, but in the end, I would like to know what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Do you guys potentially agree with a reboot or remake of the franchise by a bigger or better company? And also let me know down below as to which company and or producer and director should take up the role of creating this film and allowing it to feel relevant again in terms of what its substance originally stood for, and what are your overall thoughts on the potential of Jeepers Creepers 4? If anything, would you guys rather not see a Jeepers Creepers 4, but instead see an entirely new movie based on the reboot itself. Let me know down below, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go on ahead and punch that subscribe button, and more importantly, turn on all notifications. That way, you guys can be notified whenever a brand new video is posted. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys love horror and or Jeepers Creepers, make sure you guys go on ahead and slap a like down below. My final comments of this franchise is I really do enjoy the presence and the eeriness that is of the Creeper.
The Creeper is a very unique entity, and I do believe that its potential is very vast in what they can do with the Creeper. We saw everything basically in its entirety during Jeepers Creepers 2 when he got shot, stabbed, ran over. We saw body parts of his be completely removed, as was his head. He decapitated himself and was still able to carry on. And that's very unique seeing as to we've never really seen other iconic horror villains do that, minus perhaps Freddy Krueger who was ultimately able to regenerate himself in the dream realm and the same applies to various other characters like Michael and Jason but I do think that in some aspects the creeper is better in terms of uniqueness and its overall identity because of what the creeper stands for and especially having to go into slumber for 23 years and waking up every 23 spring just to feast is a very awesome concept in and of itself and if you guys want to share your opinions let me know down below and also if you guys want to check out more awesome videos such as this. I will leave links to all of those down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once again, tune back in for more. I hope you guys have a great day, and I really do hope that down the line, they ultimately develop a very good movie for Jeepers Creepers, because I was waiting for Jeepers Creepers 3 for such a long time, as did many other people, only for all of us to be let down. And for me, that's a huge disappointment, but I do believe that this franchise does have faith if they decide to take necessary action. So let me know what you all think down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section, guys. Have a great day. Peace.